So we're bringing you a new segment on Fox at 530 called Fitness Fridays. We want to show you that although you can go to the gym, pump that iron, do those sit-ups, the majority of your battle to a healthy life is going to start in the kitchen. So we wanted to show you a cool new recipe from Monica of Monica's, the namesake, and she will be making for us today chicken caprese salad that we've been serving at the restaurant and these vegetables we love right now these are all from our local farmers um, we are we're so in love with the tomatoes and the grilled chicken and we've got these awesome sprouts here daikon sprouts and we have fresh basil and some shishito peppers and this is just a few of the things that I thought that I could show you that it's so easy to do and there's not much cooking involved in this you know that's a, a plus <laughs> for some people who aren't right? who aren't mavericks in the kitchen yeah I mean like if you didn't want to cook up like a, a lot of times I hear people telling me like Monica it's just me or uh, you know just my husband and I and I don't want to cook I don't want to heat up the kitchen during mm -hmm. the summer so even if you went to the store and bought a roasted rotisserie chicken um, you could just pull that apart and use that in lieu of the chicken breast but that's all I have here it's just a chicken breast some sweet little nectarines and this is just to add some extra sweetness to it mm -hmm. so that we're not using any kind of you know sugar-based vinaigrettes right, yeah that's where we get in the most trouble exactly. using those sugars and um, and it's super fresh and um, and you can g get most of this at the farmers market if you mm -hmm. want to stick with the local um, scene as well and that's what's fun about eating healthy, eating right, and keeping it local and getting to know your farmers because they're working really hard to bring us this beautiful produce. And so this is this is the pretty simple step here. And and you notice I've got the lemon here. Mm -hmm. That's your friend, girlfriend, okay? For <laughs> I mean, the zester and the lemon, you can brighten up any dish, whether it be seafood, steak, vegetables, you name it. You Just zest a little lemon. lemon on there, absolutely, the zest. And so what we're gonna do is, let me, let's put a little bit of greens on here just to make our bed. I feel like I'm screaming into your oh, microphone no, it's here. Oh, actually cool. <laughs> is that spinach? Yeah, we've got a combination of spinach, little basil leaves, and some romaine. Oh, and the basil smells so good. This so beautiful fragrant. chicken. And you know, they, they always say you eat with your eyes first. So mm -hmm. it's important to, to make your dish look nice because you could throw all this on the plate and be like, what in the world, Right, girl? it's like, I don't really want to yeah. eat that. Yeah, exactly. There's so nothing like a good presentation to make you want to eat what you're cooking. And, and number one always remember to season mm. fresh vegetables yes. season 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 so we've got some mozzarella here and you can make your own mozzarella from the curd of the milk or you can buy it which that's what i suggest you do see monica you get real mozzarella. fancy right now yeah yeah <laughs> talk about making exactly so like, like this is just like some pretty little sprigs put that yes. right there and that nectarine that would everything good. nectarine and tomatoes right it, it, you know it just balances so well and then the colors are so gorgeous too you and know? talk about just getting a tomato fresh off of the vine of a farmer rather oh, than yes. store-bought the taste is totally different absolutely absolutely and you know for sure when you you get those fresh tomatoes keep them out don't put them in the refrigerator mm. something happens in the refrigerator that turns the gases and it makes it ripen and loses its flavor mm. okay so I'm gonna season it with a little bit of black pepper a little bit of salt and then we're gonna I've got this I make fresh basil pesto I add some spinach and if you if you can't find the pine nuts or if you have an aversion to that man you can use any nut you can get your hands mm -hmm. on walnut pecan pistachio um, this one we used pistachio for mm. but see how pretty those little yes. drops and we just add extra oil to our pesto and then we'll garnish it with a few of these sprouts where in the world do you find sprouts in the grocery now store those <laughs> those where your farmers market? yeah those came from donna's farm some of our mm. local farmers here in town and and they're like daikon sprouts and just beautiful and they grow them in their little greenhouse and they're full of nutritious value and, and um, lots of vitamins and then there's the zest and then we'll finish this with some basil leaves. And I like to pick these really pretty tiny little leaves and just drop them ever so lightly, you know? And raw basil is amazing. Nature. It could really brighten your day. Yes, for sure. Put that little leaf. Look how there. pretty that is. And, and that was all, all yeah. if you were cooking, all you'd really have to do is just kind of a totally saute that uh, and chicken when you harvest basil because i know you've seen it growing mm -hmm. you see these when it goes to flower these flowers taste good so don't mm. throw them out if you're growing these at home use them for garnish because look how cute that looks super cute it's adorable so let's finish it with the balsamic glaze oh my goodness and there you have it all you need now is a fork and a knife and a cup of sweet tea so exactly yeah so sweet, sweet tea that may not have a whole lot of sugar in it again we're trying to lead healthy lives <laughs> exactly. here monica well you know i sweeten my tea with hibiscus and peach mm. so no sugar whatsoever no artificials it just tastes sweet 
and I'm really sweet too, it, so that helps. So. You are, you're a doll. <laughs> so tell us if we want to get our hands on this because mm -hmm. you make this in your restaurant. Right. This is one of the restaurants in Beaumont right. where you can get healthy, whole food. How can the people find you? Um, well, we're right next to Boomtown Barbecue, 6385 Calder Sweet H. We're on Old Calder Road uh, behind Junker and Johnson's. You can go and get your full service gas <laughs> right at Johnson's. They'll clean your windows and you can come have lunch for us. And um, Google Monica's. Monica's Open, restaurant. What's Open the hours? Monday through Friday, 11 to 3. Awesome. So come yep. here on your lunch. Get something healthy that you can, again, eat and not feel guilty about. Of course, we want to thank you for uh, watching Fitness Fridays. We're going to do this every Friday to get you in better shape and to be a better you. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.